Good morning, friends. It is Saturday, and I am up bright and early. I actually got a decent night's sleep last night, which hasn't happened in a while, so I'm thankful for that. And I'm thankful that you decided to click on this video and join me for another day in the life. It's coffee time. So I have already found day three. It's right here on top of my Nespresso advent calendar. And we're going to find out what's inside. Today it is Bianco Doppio, which is a double espresso. And I'm definitely going to drink this at some point today. But honestly, I'm not quite ready to go through the trouble of frothing milk and making a latte and all that. So instead, I'm going to go up into my stash of pods here. I have just a few, as you can see. And I think I'm going to have a peppermint pinwheel coffee this morning. Sorry, my camera's not focusing. Um, I'm just going to put this into my Nespresso machine and um, I've got some peppermint creamer as well. So that's what I'm going to have this morning and I will save this for later. Stick it down here in my little drawer. Definitely have plenty of pods. All right, well, I've got two pounds of breakfast sausage that I'm cooking up. I'm gonna make some breakfast burritos for today, but I'm also gonna make a bunch of extra ones to stick in the freezer. So it's just gonna be sausage, egg, and cheese. Nothing fancy, but this smells so good, and I'm starving. It is 10.15, so hopefully I can get these done. Game is not going so well for US already, but I'm hoping they can turn it around. Um, I just got it in the background while I cook. But we're gonna get this breakfast going. I gotta come up with something to make my husband because he does not eat eggs. So I might make him some pancakes or waffles or something. But the majority of us are gonna have these burritos this morning. Well, it's not looking good for us at the half, but what is looking good are my breakfast burritos. I've got my filling all done, getting ready to wrap all these guys up. And I am starving, so hopefully I can get this quick, eat, and hopefully the U.S. can pull ahead in the second half. Uh, it's not looking good, but it's only half over. Okay, it's tea time, and we are looking for day three, which is right here. Let's see what we got. It is headache halo. So I don't currently have a headache. So I'm not going to have this. Instead, we're going to go into my stash of teas. And I think I'm going to have some Pama Grateful. This is one, another one of my favorite David's Tea teas. And it's going to be perfect for this early afternoon cup. All right, so while I sit here and sip my tea, I thought I would chit chat a little bit with you guys and just let you know what's going on today, which isn't a whole heck of a lot. Um, other than watching the game, which we did, and unfortunately USA lost, so they're out of the running for the World Cup. The only other plans we really have, um, Austin's playing in a couple of soccer games later, so we may or may not go and watch him. They're pretty late games, so um, we'll see. I really would like to, but we're just going to kind of see how I'm feeling later. Um, other than that, I think the plan is just to spend the day tidying up the house, getting things kind of situated, and that way we'll be able to put up our Christmas tree tomorrow, I think, is when we're finally going to find time as a family to all be together to put up our tree. So that's the plan. Not a lot of super exciting things happening today. Just kind of a low-key Saturday. I made that um, delicious breakfast, so yeah, not a lot going on, but we're going to make the best of the day. How did you spend your Saturday? I'd love to hear from you. Leave me a comment down below. Okay, so we have been working on getting the house cleaned up for a little bit. 
now and I'm getting ready to mop my floors. And I wanted to talk to you guys about this mop. I don't know if I've ever shown you guys this before. This is the Teen Co. I Floor S3, I think. Is that which one we ended up getting? It's a fancy schmancy vacuum mop. And it is phenomenal. This was not inexpensive. It was pretty pricey. Um, they have a super affordable models from the same company that are a little bit different, but we went with this fancy one that like talks to you and it's got um, the ability to get closer to the edges of the wall and everything like it vacuums and it mops at the same time. And this has been such a game changer for me with my back problems and now with this like shortness of breath that I've been experiencing to go through my whole house. My whole house is this hard floor to go through the whole <clears throat> house and have to sweep and then mop. It's just a lot on me. And this is all in one step. It works really well. Um, it does a great job on our floors. It doesn't leave them super, super wet. And I really, really love this thing. So, um, like I said, they do offer a more affordable model. It's like $125 or something. Cheaper than the Vissel Crosswave. Cheaper than... They just came out with the new one from Shark. There's also the Hoover Floormate. Like, all the different vacuum brands make these. But this is the one we picked after we did a ton of research on them all. And I don't regret it for a second. I really, really love it. It's going to make mopping all of my floors here in the house take less than 20 minutes and it's so much easier on my back it's self-propelled highly recommend this i'm going to link it down below as well as the more affordable options you can do your own research but highly recommend this product my husband just informed me that i need to tell you that the thing about this teen co one versus like the Bissell cross wave is um, this is just for hard floors. I actually do use it to go over like my area rugs and things, but I don't think you're technically supposed to. I know the Bissell Crosswave is specifically marketed to do um, hard floors and like area rugs and stuff. This is definitely not like a carpet cleaner by any stretch of the imagination. It's definitely for hard floors, but it works really great. And um, I don't regret this purchase for a second. It's one of the best things that I've purchased since dealing with all of my back pain and my health issues really helps me out. The kids can use it. Um, so, yeah, I love it. Right, so we spent some time deep cleaning, moving furniture, cleaning under it, rearranging things, and now we've got some space for the Christmas tree. It's gonna go right there. I don't exactly love the layout we came up with, but our house is small. It is what it is, that's where it's gonna fit. So we will be pulling out the tree and all of the decorations tomorrow and decorating that little corner of our living room. I'm pretty excited about it. It's a long time coming. I feel like we're super late. Um, so it'll be nice to have the house all decorated. We scooched this whole thing over to make some room. So hopefully it'll look really nice there. We are now getting ready to go to Austin soccer game. It's gonna start in just about an hour. So I think we're gonna go get a little treat from Tim Hortons to take with us and then sit and watch him play. Eric is going in to get us some hot chocolate. Well, he's having coffee. I'm having hot chocolate and some donuts. Fun fact, my husband absolutely hates going through the drive-thru and he will avoid it at all costs. He always goes in and when they had all of the dining rooms closed for the pandemic and all that was available was a drive-thru, he absolutely hated it. So with everything open again and he's able to go in, he's much happier.
Hit him, Austin. All right, friends, we are home from Austin's game now. It's 10.30 and I'm tired, so. Um, I tried to get some footage for you guys at Austin's game, but they're playing indoors and we're behind a, a big net so that we as spectators don't get hit in the face with the ball. And it does not make for good footage. So unfortunately that didn't really turn out, but it was a fun game to watch. Austin's team won. Do you want to say hi, Austin? Uh -huh. He doesn't want to say hi. Do you want to just say hi? Hi. There you go. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open up the last advent calendar of the day. And then I'm gonna call it a night. So, and pull out my Sugarfina advent calendar and see what today has in store for us. So, it's day three. And we've got some little gummies. They look like little gifts, maybe? Is that what they're supposed to be? I don't know, I can't really tell. Let's just take a look at the back. Oh, they are, they're holiday presents. So I don't know what they're supposed to taste like, but we'll give them a try. Do you wanna try a gummy candy, baby? No, thank you. Do you wanna say hi to the vlog? Hi, vlog. First time they've seen you this uh, year. I mean, it's like day three. It is. It's just day three. So, all right, we're gonna say good night now. I'm gonna go have my candies and I'm gonna go to bed. Say good night, darling. Good night, darling. Bye, friends. <laughs>